this is Steven. Welcome to Steven's Learning Channel. Today, we will be talking about something trigonometry. Yeah, trigonometry. Sinusoidal graphs. So, if you don't know what the sinusoidal functions are, it's basically just sine, cosine, and tangent. So, first one up, we have cosine. Now, we have, cos we have the problems here, and I'm going to graph it here. And I'm going to use the unit circle to find the values of those. So, first one, cosine of pi over 2. Now, if you don't know, cosine is essentially the length of the line from here all the way to here. So, on pi over 2, pi over 2 is actually a quarter of a circle away around. So this is going to be 1, and then if we have a line here, this the length from here to here is 0. So essentially, cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and so we can plot that on our graph. And 0, and zero is basically here, so the length of the line is basically just one. So we're gonna put that up here on our sinusoidal graph. And then, and then cosine of pi. And so from here to here is basically just negative one. Although if we're talking in distance, it would be one. So this is, so cosine of pi is negative one. And so we can plot that on our graph. Pi, this is negative one, and this is pi. Okay, now we have cosine of three pi over two. Now three pi over two is essentially here, here. So it's three quarters of the way around, or a quarter of the way around. So, So here, we're going to fill in. So the length of the line here is actually just zero, like, like for the pi over two. So what we're going to put is zero. We're going to put in a zero. And then that zero is going to go up here. Now we have cosine of two pi. On our unit circle, this is just going to be cosine of 0 because 2 pi is just a full circle around. So we're going to have the length at 1. And so this would be all the way up here on our graph. Let's see. There and there. So this is cosine of 2 pi. Now, this is actually a pattern, so let's plot that. 5 pi over 2, 0, 3 pi, all the way at the negatives, right here. And then 7 pi is going to be at 0. And then this is going to be right here is about 4 pi, so we're going to put a circle above or a dot above there. Now we can connect. We're gonna start off like that, and then it's gonna make its way down here, and it's gonna make its way back up to the horizontal line or the x-axis, as we like to call it if we're doing the coordinate plane, and then it's gonna go all the way up here and then down over here and then wait let me erase it will go down like that and then it will go like that and then it will go all the way up to the zero yes and then we'll get there and then it will rise back down or drop back down to the to when it's actually 9 over 2 pi 
Okay, now we will be talking about the sine function. Now, for sine, it's just the height. So it's just the height of the line. So at sine of zero, this is just going to be zero because the height of this line is zero. So this is going to be a zero on our graph. And then sine of pi over 2, pi over 2 is actually a quarter of the circle away around. So sine of pi over 2, what's the height of this line? Well, it's from the 0 mark all the way to the 1, and that's 1. So sine of pi over 2 is 1. So on our graph, this will be the point one, no, pi over two, comma, one. And then for pi, this is halfway around the circle. So pi, it's going to be the distance from here to here. And it's literally just like flat, so it's zero. So we're back at zero again. And then three pi over two, this is down, so from the origin to negative 1, that's just negative 1, but in distance terms, we like to say that it's just 1 because distance is positive. So it will be right down here on our graph, the first negative 1. And then now 2 pi is just the full circle around. So we're back at zero. And this will be the, this like just a horizontal line. So it's just gonna be zero. So we're back at the x axis again. Now this cycle will actually continue to repeat. So let's fill in. Five pi over two. This is just a quarter of a way of a circle around. And so, just like pi over 2, we're going to have 1 there. And then for 3 pi, 3 pi is just halfway of a circle around. And so, 3 pi is just 0 because the height of the line is zero and now seven pi over two this is three quarters of a circle around and so seven pi over two is just three pi over two is negative one so now that we have our points mapped out on the line we're going to fill it in great there's actually going to be some curve to it and so we come back here and we go down here. We have to make a, a more gentle curve. And then it has to curve all the way back up. And then make a, lot, make a curved line all the way to this point. And then make a line down there. And, and this is the graph of f of x is equal to sine of x. Okay, now the last function of the sinusoidal functions the the tangent now as you can see i have made the interval shorter and i've added some little lines this is because in the graph of um in the graph of the tangent it's going to be a little bit crazy so I had to add these lines so I could get improved accuracy. 
Now, tangent is actually just equal to the, the y value sine over cosine. So the tangent of a function is literally, if you know how slope is defined, it's really just the slope. So as you can see, the slope is zero here. So as we approach this y-axis right here, so as we approach it, as we approach pi over two, what's going to happen is that the line is going to Im the line the slope of the line is then going to approach infinity so and so we need some asymptotes and if you don't know what an asymptote is it's basically just an imaginary line that a function gets closer to but it never really touches that line so we're going to make the line at pi over two, and so we draw a dotted line for our asymptotes. And so what will happen is that we will produce, this will produce a curve that is going to approach this line as x, as y gets bigger, but it won't actually approach it. So this is going to look something like this. And so this is also true for the other end because it's coming back. So it's coming back from negative infinity and then it's all the way going to the y equals zero line. So we're, we're just gonna leave that like this and actually the asymptote is actually off the graph. So I'm gonna leave it off just for now. Here's the really crazy part. It's that not only it's that not only it just approaches infinity and becomes so much bigger, but what happens is that here's the crazy part. It actually repeats. I'm serious. It repeats. So that means we'll have it at pi also, and then we're gonna have an asymptote that just approaches this line and we're going to have another as asymptote at, at x equals 3 halves pi. So we're going to have another asymptote right here and what's going to happen is that we're going to make this line go like that and it actually repeats for infinity. So what you're going to get is you're going to get lots of graph so if you ever type tangent of x or f of x is equal to the tangent of x on your graphing calculator, this is what it will look like. It will just look like multiple copies of this. And if you zoom out, it's going to look more bunched up. It's going to look more and more bunched up. And I've actually done this on a graphing calculator. And when you get to like really far out, it just looks like a complete red square if that's the color of your graph. Depends on the color. And so there will be another asymptote at five pi over two. And then we just come from negative infinity all the way to zero and then this will just go and approach x equals seven pi over two these curved things that just appear every every time you go to a coefficient of pi and so this is the trigonometry sinusoidal graphs, and I hope you really like it. Please hit that like button and subscribe and share this video so we can spread the knowledge. Peace out!